I discuss a bit sort of the um, high prevalence of uh, electrographic seizures uh, following acute brain injury. And then beyond that, uh, talked about the treatment. And um, by now, what we know is we know a little bit about the path- pathophysiology underlying acute brain injury seizures. So we do know that they're associated with increasing metabolic demand. And unlike in, um, in, um, in epilepsy patients, patients with acute brain injury may not be able to adequately increase their blood perfusion to uh, partial parts of the brain that are seizing. And so they may be at higher risk of being harmed in those areas. And so um, the treatment focuses on initial treatment is with benzodiazepines. That's very well established. The, the sort of idea seems to be um, to get the treatment to the patient as early as possible. There's quite a few studies that have sort of supported that in randomized clinical, clinical trials. So as early as possible, treatment with benzodiazepines. And then the ESET trial has shown that there are alternatives in patients that continue to seize after the first benzodiazepine. So levetiracetam, vaporic acid, phenytoin are all options. Following that, we, we're talking about refractory status. So seize, patients that are seizing despite these initial treatments, uh, they are refractory to these initial treatments. And those patients are more difficult to manage. There's much more controversy about the management. It's not a big um, RCT that has shown one treatment to be better than the other, or so. So there's more debate um, um, following it. Uh, practice right now by most people is to use anesthetic drips, so benzodiazepine drips again, so like um, midazolam drips, for example, or propofol. But um, but it's it's not supported by a big clinical trial. There, the idea increasingly. So what's coming up on the horizon is, I think that the earlier the treatment is initiated again there, the better. And one thought is, can we treat earlier with more, with basically with, um, uh, with, with higher doses, but for shorter times? And so that's one of the thoughts, because if you use these also sedating agents to treat status, patients will also remain um, unconscious for a long time. And then uh, that um, you know time uh, increases in the ICU, and subsequent also associated potentially pneumonias and things like that. And so we're trying to minimize the time where we really have to um, keep them heavily sedated, um, but at the same time also treat the seizures.